So a number of years ago I built this cockpit and I used a bunch of SciTech components. I have the uh, switch panel there, I've got the joystick and throttle, and the other two switch panel or uh, radio panel and autopilot panel, and then uh, a razor, uh, little mini keyboard. Well, that was a long time ago, back when Windows 7 was big and USB 2 was big, and now I've got my new PC that I just got. And it is all USB 3, and these SciTech panels do not like it, and they do not like Windows 10. I can't get them to work. I've tried everything. I've gone and I've put in different drivers, I've changed registry settings, I've changed BIOS settings, I, I just can't get it to work. So I was about to throw it all out, and I had already kind of modified the the cockpit to try to get it working and then I decided well you know what I wonder if there's something else I could do to get this working so I took it apart and this is the circuit board for the little switch panel here um, essentially it's a bunch of switches you've got the power and uh, system switches along with all the light switches this is actually a two position switch and this is a five position switch. So I just went ahead and changed all the wiring and put it into a Arduino Pro Micro which is based off the Leonardo and can do USB HID. So now this allows me to send keyboard commands so I can basically remap every single one of these buttons to the keyboards and I've got it working and thought I would show you. So here, see if I can get them both in the screen. So, power. And then over here is the, so if I want to do the fuel pump, de-ice, heat on heat, and then for the lights, you got the panel, which turns on the interior lighting. I don't really need that, but I've got the, let's see, there it is got the main beacon that's uh, for I actually improved on the nav button so it now does the nav and the re recognition lights so it's got the strobe taxi and landing lights so now I've also got this hooked in to the to the magneto now we can start it. And now we'll go ahead and fire up the full throttle. And it'll take off. hard to fly and record at the same time. lot easier when you've got two hands. But now I've got the entire panel basically functional again. The only things that aren't working are the LEDs there and the cowl flap switch. And that's because I ran out of I.O. pins. So I'm hoping to rectify that some way uh, or another. Maybe a probe micro isn't what I need to use for this. But now that I've got this working, 
I'm going to have to look into what I can do with these other two panels to see if there's anything I can salvage from them. All the code and everything is on my GitHub site. And, uh, yeah. I'm glad to have uh, this little panel back working again.